In this final episode of a three-part tutorial here on Loops FX, I'm going to show you how to beat grid a track that starts in 121 BPM, then drops to 100, and then goes back again. So, stick along. Hello players and welcome back to another episode of Loops FX. My name is Bergwall or Bergwall as we say in Sweden and today I'm gonna do the final episode of the three part tutorial on how to beatbox like a pro. <laughs> on how to beat grid like a pro on Rekordbox. This is part 3, the tempo transition. But if you haven't already seen part 1, the basics or part 2, the unsteady beat, please do so before you continue with this episode. Here in this final part, I'm going to show you how to beat grid a track that starts in 121 BPM, then drops to 100, and then goes back up to 121 again. But this technique works even if the tempo just drops and never go up, go up again, or starts at a lower tempo and rises to a higher. Same same. It's called tempo transitions, but most tracks are often labeled only transition or trance. Why do we want to beat with a track that changes BPM? Because we can! And it's kinda cool to play a track that suddenly drops in tempo or rises to make them magic moments. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell as well if you want to be reminded every time we post a new video. And if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want me to wear a t-shirt with your company's name or product brand here in the upcoming episode of Loops FX, please send an email to hello at loopsfx.com. Now, let's do this. The last part of this tutorial, we're gonna beat with a track that goes from 121 to 100 BPM and back up to 121 again. Uh, in this track, it happens in two parts. Uh, I have already made the first part, so you can listen to what I mean. Now, here you can hear that the tempo was changed. And uh, here it um, rises again, the tempo rises from 100 and to 121. You can see that, see it here up on the corner, where the tempo is rising. You can feel it as well. So how do we do this? Just listen with a click. That is possible. The click keeps uh, moving along with the tempo. and uh, up as well. I really love to play this kind of uh, transitions, tempo transition as they're called. It makes that magic on the dance floor. So, how do we do this? First we gotta control that uh, the tempo before uh, before the, the fall is correct and it's not, so we go back where does it start drifting? Oh. Oh. So let's uh, expand the bead in the wall and then tunk, uh, put another adjustment on that. And uh, move forward to see if uh, the bee is um, drifting again. Yeah, it feels like that. Yes, it is. So, we have to expand it again. And then... Doom. And you saw that I had the, the red line on the beat. Here is where the tempo drops f for real. And uh, it has to have um, adjustment uh, quite on that first beat. So every every beat on uh, on that has to be adjusted now. So the. Put the red line on it, and then adjustment. 
There is the next bit. We expand the, the grid and then an adjustment. This uh, has uh, hand claps for beat, so let's use the hand claps. Expand the beat, beat grid to the hand clap, and uh, align the hand clap and adjustment. And then the next hand clap, expand the beat, beat grid, and adjustment. Now you get the drift, I, I continue with this. Here we are, a last adjustment marker, Now we now, now we're gone from 121 to 100. Now we're going to go up again, and the beat is correct, so we have to put that first. The first adjustment marker is very important. So, and now we have to shrink because um, the, the beat interval is too big. Oops. So, and, uh, align it, and then the next. So, yes, here you understand how this is done, so I continue with this. I hope you start speed reading even your own. So, almost at the end. Are you still with me? Direct the box. Don't and there's the drop. And it has to have some adjustment as well. So, ba -ba bum. Go back, so on. Don't forget the adjustment. Yeah, this is how you uh, do that, and uh, uh, you can do, you can use this practice even if the tempo drops from 121 to 100 and not up again, uh, or goes from 100 to 130 and not down again. It's the same method that you use. So, uh, let's listen to it. Ba -ba -bum. Sounds good, sounds good. And the BPM is down at 100. Mm -hmm. Going up. Do you feel it? Do you feel the tempo rising? Yeah. I started to get some feeling over here. And now it's for the outro. Uh, don't forget to check that as well. Because this can mess things up at the end. I guess you have a lot of tracks with tempo transitions that you want to beat grid right now so I keep this short. Thank you for watching this episode of a three-part tutorial on how to beat grid like a pro in Rekordbox. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell as well if you want to be reminded every time I post a new video. If you have any requests or want me to test a product or a service of yours, please send an email to hello at loopsfx.com. See you next time.